Welcome to Finding the Voices. I am Monica Ingram. Welcome back everyone. This is the second part, um the first part of the episode uh, with Boom Kaisam who is a fashion designer from Manipur, uh, currently joining us from the Netherlands. Um he shared very personal details about his struggles, uh, lack of acceptance from his own family as well as the society uh, about him being gay. um so please do catch up on the first episode this is the second episode of uh, his interview and um to start with we are going to jump right into some of his work as a fashion designer all right so i'll be sharing some pictures okay so boom if you can tell us um about the pictures what we are going to share um and add on you know details about the designs and uh, the location the, uh, this this collection was from robert norin so uh, many professional extra fashion extra the ganza and it's also very important to us for the boom by boom because on this day we also launched our kids wear for oh, our okay yeah okay, so the kids uh, it's uh, the kids wear line is called tulip kids tulip kids Yeah, the lip kits by Pui Sanate. Okay, okay, excellent. All right. It started by uh, my uh, f- my friend, my co-partner, my Boom by Boom. Okay, okay. No, I, I was very excited to see the kids collection because I don't think we have a kid collection, particularly you know from Manipur. Yeah, this I think uh, in Manipur this was the first time when we launched like kids wear and okay. uh, we're working with the models and. Uh, yeah really accept, uh, appreciate the work okay. right and you know i yeah. have two little kids so i'm very excited about your collection okay thank you so much all right so what about this and this was the bridal collection from shillong fashion week mhm from boom by uh, for boom by boom okay uh, and this 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 was uh, the promo for the our uh, when we launched, we started our uh, boom by boom for the first time in salon we had to do some photo shoot for the promotion of the dress okay okay this is from yeah the- this is beautiful and she is so beautiful with um you know wearing the colorful uh, gown designed by you uh, it looks very exotic thank you and what about this and uh, this is also part of uh, the uh, boom by boom launch launching in for the uh, salon uh, yeah salon in salon so we okay have, so this is one of your earlier design yeah is the same uh, in the same year we designed together like we did like kind of traditional as well as like western wear so okay yeah i lo- i love the fee because uh, this is something unique which i haven't seen in um many of the designs coming out from manipur thank you so can you share a little bit about this design particular design we did, uh, we tried to develop uh, like uh, i t- i took the pattern from manipur like khagi uh, mapanai but i'll speak in manipur mapanai yeah, yeah, no problem mapanai bagi and mai ek tokara hapet manaba khoi mai ek hapet adu gi hapet manaba lo to ga ina we try to develop our own designs so we pick okay. and the material is pure silk and it's also okay and this is pure silk yeah and it also has a hand painting on the border in on both okay. sides like god okay. god and god okay. and raja on the border okay okay yeah this is very pretty and this 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is also from the same collection where uh, Boom by Boom uh, launched launching collection. And okay. It, uh, we did, uh, we got the uh, inspiration from the Mandarin dresses like Chinese people wear. So we try to do some something different. So we did. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, th 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 this is uh, one of the collection from this long, uh, launching of Bung Bai Bung collection. Okay. And, and this the, is from the bridal? The bridal from Shillong Fashion Week. Okay. And this was in the Robert Nauram uh, extravaganza yeah. for the kids? Yeah, for the kids and for both, like, because... For both of them? Yeah, for okay. the, they have, like, we have to do very specific about the tradition of Anipur, so we're trying to just keep it like traditional. And okay. And this is from Shilong Fashion Week, yes. Again, from the bridal collection. Yeah, bridal collection. Okay. And this is from Robert Naram mm -hmm. saw in Manipur. Okay. And this was the ending. Yeah. All right. And this is uh, like called, in Shilong Fashion Week, this is uh, the Western wear after the bridal, so all together. Okay. Oh, so you had two collections, the bridal and the Western it's wear. They can follow the same way. So we started okay. with the bridal and then goes on with the different like, kind of yeah, bridal to Western gowns and dresses and cocktail dresses. Okay. Again, yeah. a part of Shillong. Yeah, Shillong Fashion Week. Okay. And this was <clears throat> this this was like uh, for I think it was last year collection for dancing loom collection. The dancing uh, I participated in the dancing loom of Manipur. Oh, yeah. dancing loom of Manipur. Yeah. Yes, I've heard about that yeah, show. Organized by uh, Susheta Wang Kim and Nishikant. Nishikant. Okay. I took a part. In so even this is a part yeah. of that. All right, so that is wonderful. I love all your designs. So tell me about your team and how, you know, when you're preparing for your uh, shows, um, how are you, how do you come up with your design and, you know, just share a little bit about the behind the scene and how do you choose your fabrics and, you know, a little bit uh, a glimpse, I guess, of your life as a fashion designer. So we first, like when we started doing a collection, we started with like we started to think about some kind of theme which we can inspire. Like for example, when when doing first uh, when we launching our boom by boom for the first time in Silong, we we came up with kind of very summer summer look, like very girly, like lots of flowers and mm, the summer print. Yeah. Like very flowery and the fabric which has very like with flow like very flowy fabric and like so we started developing we first we choose a theme and according to that we choose the fabric and then we started developing the designs and that's how it goes. Okay. So what kind of fabric do you generally like to work with? I mean, are you open to all kind of fabric or you have like some kind of personal choice? I want to try lots of fabric, but the most comfortable fabric I like is the cotton material, which is which has lots of prints. And I, and I, I my favorite is like the floral prints because I just love the prints of floral line, of different kind of mm. flowers. So I'm trying to always stick with the floral. I never, I hardly try on the a plain fabric. Okay, no, I, I love that, like the one top which uh, you had given me, uh, the red and black, uh, again, like it's a floral pattern and it's beautiful. It's one of my uh, favorite. <laughs> so thank you. And I look forward for more kind of, uh, I guess, fusion uh, tops which would go uh, with Western as well, as well as ethnic wear. What are you working on? <clears throat> at the moment, like uh, I'm pursuing my study on a uh, higher study on fashion, which mm -hmm. I didn't complete completed before. So I'm now I'm trying to struggle in between my work and like not to complete my study. So, okay. 
So, so now you are focusing more on your yes. uh, completion of your studies. Yeah, and also now we are we are I'm working on the kids. We are planning to launch a kid a online kidswear collection. Okay. So we are working on it, and now we have just started working. As hopefully maybe by by the beginning of next year, they'll be launching the online store for Boom by Boom. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I am very excited about the kids wear. <laughs> Yeah, maybe like February. I'm counting on February end or beginning of March. Mm -hmm. so okay, all right, all right. Okay, so yeah, I wanted to go back a little bit on your um, on your life. You mentioned a little bit in the first part about uh, uh, meeting your partner. Can you share a little bit about uh, how that is going? How you met and. Um, yeah. <laughs> because you said uh, you know you actually you had a wedding ceremony and how did that go? Yeah, we met online from mm -hmm. dating site. Okay. We met like about five years ago. It mm -hmm. lived more than five years, so it was like kind of at that time I was in Delhi and he was in Netherlands, so we started chatting, exchanging messages, like, and then I think. Yeah, we did, that's why we connected and after chatting for some time, about a year or so, we st we start we decided to meet up in real like for real like because Okay. So he came all the way from Netherlands to Guwahati. So I went to Guwahati and that's how like we we were like in between we were talking about like not where to book where to settle down if we have a connection and blah blah blah. And then we decided that maybe like Netherlands being a very cold place, I thought that maybe Shillong would be better because in Manipur we have lots of problems with the outsider I and mean, being a foreigner he cannot settle down there. So maybe I thought maybe in a, when it comes to all the northern states, like Shillong is the best place things going on there. So we decided mm -hmm. maybe we we'll move there. So we went there First time we met there in Shillong. Okay, so Shillong is a very special place for both of you. Yeah, Shillong is. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations on your marriage, um, and you. with you sharing, uh, you know, about not being accepted and the struggle you had gone through. Yeah. Uh, how was that taken? Yeah, I think Netherlands is the first country in the world who accepted like gay gay couple to be get, get married, same sex to be get married. It's the first right. time in the whole world. So for him, when, he, when I told him about the whole story, like uh, how things will end, and I also don't want to li uh, live a, li a life of life. Mm. So, and I just wanted him to, when I first met him, I just wanted to meet him. So, uh, actually, I wanted to come, him to come to Manipur, but because of my, I don't know what my parents will react on it. So we say maybe we stay here in Shillong for some time and see how things goes on. And after that, I was already thinking of introducing him to my parents. Mm -hmm. But for that, I have to start my career and I have to be independent. And so that way he supported me with like whatever I wanted to do in my life. Like, And so that's how, and after, starting and become independent when people started noticing me i said okay this is the time let's see if my parents accept it or not let's just go and meet him like introduce him to my parents and my family other members so that's how after a year in Ceylon, we went back to manipur together and i told him to come to manipur and, and that's how like i eventually started introdu introducing him to my parents as a friend not as a okay so then they didn't say anything and they, and that's how we started things going to the blood. Okay. Okay. So um your marriage was attended by your parents and his side? No, my parents didn't uh, attend. But uh, before I, I took the decision I I don't want to do it secretly, so I I, I and I could not be able to talk to my parents regarding my marriage, so I have some friends, like good friends from my college. So I invited them to my play, my house in Manipur, and then 
talk to them, like, you know, see, I'm trying to get married. And like, in Manipur, we, we have a culture that you are not openly discussed. We don't discuss about marriage mm-hmm. like, openly to with your parents. Either somebody has to come and discuss. So I asked my friend if they can help me to discuss about my marriage to my parents. So some of my friends came to my house and then they talked about for me, like, you know, I'm going to get married with this guy. And so they talked with my parents and then my parents, I think they, they, they feel reluctant to come to the wedding, but mm-hmm. what, they, they blessed me, even if they wanted, okay. they blessed me, like, you know, whatever he's doing, like, like you know, we give him good luck and blah, blah, but, but they were not there. Physically, they were not present, but their blessing were there. Okay, okay. So, did you did you feel bad that they were not present? I feel very bad, like I, I when, because I really wanted them to be with me at that moment, but they were okay. not after that because no, no one from my family were there. Only my some of my friends, close friends, they were there. Okay. But you have uh, excellent support from your friends and they have, you know, a lot of love and accept you the way you are. Uh, yes. So what I did was, uh, this is again something new which we are trying for our show. Uh, I reached out to a couple of your friends and uh, wanted them to say a few words for you. Um, unfortunately, because of the timing and I could not get all the other videos, but uh, we have uh, Manju Sharma from Sydney uh, who had sent <laughs> who had sent a, a message. So I'm going to play uh, for you. Okay. Hi, Boom. Um, this is Ike Manju from Sydney. Um, I've been asked to say something about you and um, we've never met in person. But um, whatever little contact I have with you on WhatsApp and Facebook, I really enjoy chatting with you and getting to know you. And I'm actually very excited to see you in Amsterdam very soon. Fingers crossed. Um, I hope you are there when I am there. Um, But I must say, from whatever little I see on Facebook and I know of you, you're a great guy. Um, Proud of you and proud of what you do, of course very fashionable, very gusty, keep it up, um, and spotless. Bye. Okay, so that is something which we are trying new for our program and um, many of your other friends actually wanted to uh, contribute, uh, but uh, because of the timing, uh, I was not able to, uh, you know, coordinate that. Um, But I think the point what I was trying to gather was uh, you don't have to feel alone. There are a lot of people who love you, uh, who accept you the way you are. Um, And, you know, we just want you to be empowered. um, And we thank you that you are sharing this story with us. um, And we can, yeah, we can all um, live together as human beings and I guess look to uh, progress. Yeah. All right. So, um, what else? I don't know if there is any other specific things which you want to share, which I have not asked. I think it's it. Oh, so yeah. I, no, I wanted to ask you about your life in Netherlands. So, can you share, uh, you know, like how is it different and what do you like about the place? I think I like everything about here because, like, I'm not... You don't have to pretend anymore. You can be what I, what you really are. Like, and people are friendly, nice, and they are very, and they are just smile, and you don't feel lonely all the time because you go out and they people greet you with good morning or evening or, and very friendly people, but yeah, and so you, so you feel that your quality of life has improved because you could be yourself. You don't have to hide or you don't have to take a, take a big back seat in, you know, some yeah. of the occasion in Manipur, uh, in Manipur or in other parts of India just because you are gay. Yeah, because every time, like, for example, I was there in Bombay for one year to study. And you know, even there, like, it's a, it's a big city. It's like, 
help for like fashion and like Bollywood stars and but still like you can you cannot be yourself like you have to hide your identity what the people will think about you or talk about you and otherwise like so you cannot talk about your who you are you have to mm. pretend like you are something else which you are not it's not but when I came here it's it's very different like, you can be yourself be who you are like and so that gave me more confidence because I I've been living a life of lie lie or pretending like not to be something else which I'm not. So now I think I, I'm more happy here. Okay, all right. So uh, tell us something about uh, your partner. Some fun stuff. Fun stuff. He's not very funny. He's not. not <laughs> He's very workaholic. He he loved to work all the time, uh, but yeah, I have to think about it to be like you know if he have to. I want him to like you not know, socialize a bit, but I unless I have to drag him out to go to the club, and but he never <laughs> to the club. So I'm the only one who go to club clubbing and partying and doing stuff. So I let's drag him out like in the weekend. Like let's go out for drinks, and meet some people. Like, but otherwise, like he he is very nice, and but he he work hard. And he's into advertising. Uh, that's that's his like. Okay, so what about food? Like, does he like Manipuri food? Who who cooks in your family? I cook most of the time. Uh, you you do most of the cooking. <laughs> to be honest, uh, honestly, I, I I don't I I am not so fond of Dutch food. Like because like mass uh, potatoes and boiled potatoes and meat and red meat and all those stuff. So I'm not into that much. So he cooks. He likes everything. Most of the thing which is not spicy. Not spicy in the sense like which is not hot. Like I him when he put the rock sabi on the side and that. that. So mm. make it a little mild for him. But otherwise he loves like the way I cook and, and he eat everything. But only the thing is that he don't want to eat too much rice so one, okay once or twice in a week rice but other like meat and dal and puti and you know oh you really know, <laughs> and, you know, and all the stuff he, he, he ate okay okay so i mean you have to do much cooking what you have been eating your whole life yeah i do like when i'm here i do lots of cooking mm, okay that's interesting all right what else yeah, so now we are planning, I was talking to him the other day, like we just, we had like a storeroom downstairs. So I was talking to him like, because one of my, the neighbor here, she have a salon on her uh, garage. So I said, maybe we could take some idea from her, like, you know, she's opening a salon under her house. So why, okay. don't, why don't we convert your garage into like some like, boutique for me, like so that I can start because the house is quite near to the beach. So in the summer, people used to come like swimming and beach to get sun on the beach. So maybe we can do, so we were just talking about starting up something here in the, in the Netherlands as well. Okay, all right. So good luck with that. And uh, I think everything in life, uh, you know, we always started small. And if we have that belief and vision, it will grow. Um, just like my finding the voices. Uh, <laughs> we started it with audio. And yeah, it's been three years. And I can't uh, believe that we are actually having a video chat um, with both of us sitting at two different uh, countries. <laughs> All right, so thank you, Boom, so much for uh, joining today and sharing um, the story. Good luck with your studies and also, so yeah, good luck uh, for your new venture with your partner on starting the Kids Square. Uh, okay. I'll be watching for that um, and keep us updated and um, thank you for supporting us um, for for our fun drive, um, we <laughs> yeah, this is something we had just started, and uh, people who believe in this platform uh, are supporting us. So we really appreciate your support. Okay. All thank right, you. thank you. Thank you so much for having me here.